Hello and welcome to lesson eight and welcome also to my music room again. Right, so today we are going to do a bit of the bass clef and that is the left hand. So um, first of all we'll look at my stave. I've drawn these already. So this is the bass clef. So when you see the bass clef you think left hand. Treble clef is right hand, bass clef left hand. So first of all um, I'm going to show you the notes, uh, go over some of the notes um, that we did in the bass clef before. So if we find middle C, first of all, um, the two, uh, two black notes in the middle there, slide your finger down to the left hand white note, and that's middle C. And in the bass clef, we play middle C with your left hand thumb. So that's finger one of the left hand. So middle C in the bass clef, is up here on this line here so that's the middle C line so that's that one and then the next note down is in the space there and that one is B so as we go down the stave then it goes down to the Lord the lower end of the piano so we're going backwards alphabet so B on in the space and then A on the line and then G in the space and then F on the line and these are the only five notes we're going to do today C B A G and F and that's played with finger one two three four and five oops so finger one is C finger two is B finger three is A finger four is G finger five is F Okay, can you see that? Okay. There we go. So uh, I'm going to play those notes on the piano now. So finger one goes on uh, on C, and then B with finger two, and then A with finger three, and then G with finger four, and then F with finger five. Okay. So no right hand this time, just left hand. Now, what I want you to do is practice um, with your with your thumb on that in that position with your thumb on middle C. I want you to practice playing them without looking at your hands. So you could maybe try and shut your eyes and play them like that, so you can get a feel for the um, for the keys. Make sure you're also still you've got a nice curved position with your hands and you're pushing down with the tips of your fingers still. So, and also your wrist, make sure you're not leaning on the piano like that. You can't do that. So lift up nicely, curve your fingers, nice curved finger shape. And also you can practice, do you remember a few lessons ago, we looked at the word legato, which means smooth and connected. And we talked about how to play it. Um, and just to recap, um, to, to play legato, you play the first note and before playing the second note you keep sorry you keep that the first note down before playing the second note so you've got a very slight overlap so it's smooth and connected so you could practice playing them detached and you could practice playing them smooth or legato So um, you could practice doing that and also you can shut your eyes and get someone to call out the notes maybe like um, A and then F and then B. Try to do those without looking at your hands because the aim when playing the piano, when sight reading on the piano, the aim is to not look down at your hands as much as possible just to, so that you can keep your eyes on the music and you can read everything on the page that you need to read. So talking about the page, we're going to have a look in our book that we're working from, The Classic Piano Course by Carol Barrett. And in on page uh, 10, we've got a left hand piece. It's just a little exercise at the bottom. So this is the, the start position with your thumb on middle C like this. And um, if you have a look at these, I'll go through the notes with you while we're looking at this. So it's C, B, A, G, F, G, A, B, C, 
B A B C C and that's the uh, first exercise we'll have a look at that one first so you might want to freeze that and um, pause that and write those notes in or you might want to try and do it without um, without um, writing the notes in but either way it doesn't matter if you need to write the notes in at this stage that's not a problem sometimes you know I have to write some notes in whatever whatever you need to write in just write in it doesn't matter because the aim is to play the piano it's not like we, we don't have to do it perfectly um, we're not aiming for complete perfection so anything that you can write on your page to make it helpful and easier to play then um, then write it in always have a pencil by your I always have a pencil on my piano when I'm playing in case I think oh I keep making that mistake I'm gonna quickly write that sharp in or something then it helps me because at the end of the day I just want to play the music and with it we're here to enjoy playing the piano not to just try and do it completely 100% perfect so the idea is to enjoy playing so I'm gonna play this now looking at the music so it's C B So if you have a look at the time signature at the beginning here, the time signature is four over four, which means four crotchet beats in the bar. So counting the bar, counting the beats and playing, it will be one, two, three, four, one. Because the last bar has two minims in so you've got to hold those down for two beats now the next exercise exercise two which is this one at the bottom here and this one the time signature is three over four so this time we're counting one two three one two three and the notes are C B A B A G A B so counting this one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So at the at the second to last bar we've got a minim, which is two beats long, followed by a crotchet. So it's one, two, three, and the very last bar has got a dotted minim, which is one, two, three. I'll just show you that and we'll have a look at the overhead camera in a minute. So two beats for the A, one, two, three, and then three beats for the dotted minim. A dot after a note adds half of that note's usual value. So a minim, which is normally two, will become three with a dot next to it. A crotchet, which is one, with a dot next to it, will become one and a half because the dot is worth half of one with a dotted crotchet. Right, let's do the overhead. So back to exercise one, and you've got your thumb on middle C here, and we're going to do this one first. Oops. Exercise one first. Okay, so it's C, Exercise two, which is this one. You can see that C B A B A G, and then A B C. two bars just go over those last two bars again A, B, C. that's good so try not to look at down at your hands remember to hold a nice curved shape like this okay and this right hand we're not playing yet um, we're just using the left hand 
So that was lesson eight. So um, the good thing about um, doing lessons on here is that you can pause the video whenever you like to. Um, so if you want to go back over those, if you want to have another look at the music that I was holding up, um, or if you wanted to freeze the frame um, so that you could print the, print the music out, that's fine. Um, so just go keep going over and over it. Try not to look at your hands as you're playing, but obviously you, you need to to find your notes, um, at, at, to find your start position, and then try and do it. Try and remember where each of the notes are, um, just little bits at a time. And don't worry if you can't, just keep trying. Just don't give up. The more you practice, the more you do, um, the more you bring yourself to, your, to the piano and play around and you could go over any of the lessons that, I, that we've done so far and there'll be lots more um, and the more you do it the better you'll get just just put a little bit of time by every day to do a little bit and uh, I promise you you'll get better I promise you will um, but the most important thing is enjoy it as I do okay um, see you next time bye bye